Before that, we heard Creedence Clearwater Revival from uh, the uh, Live Europe album. It came out of the sky. I just realized one thing. That was a trio. There was no Tom Fogarty at that point. That's John Fogarty holding that thing down. I'll tell you one thing. Guy okay, kind of, uh, there's no reason. He, 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 I, he was giving the Velvet Underground a run for his money with that uh, action. Blast in and out on that guitar. I got in an argument on uh, Twitter with some people because I, I, all I heard, I, I was flipping past. My, my favorite TV channel is this channel called Palladia now. Do you know that channel, Mike? All they show is literally, if it was a rock concert and it was filmed, they will show it. Yeah, a lot of, lot of room, a lot of, lot of air to fill. So I'm watching, uh, I've watched, I'll watch anything on that channel. I watched this Neil Young tribute, oh boy. Neil Young was sitting there watching that, they trying to drive him out of the room. Trying to make him retire from music. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Matthews doing The Needle and the Damage Done. Look, there were some good things on that. There were some not-so-good things. Watched uh, Jeff Beck group. play. He has like this 25-year-old uh, uh, young woman playing bass who's... Uh, like super jazzy talented she's like super she looks like she looks like she's 15 but she's playing like you know like that jazzy playing you tell how much i like that style of playing <laughs> they're doing that uh so i look i look her up i'm just like i gotta find out what the story with this uh, uh young lady she looks like she's 13 and she's still in she's in her early to mid twenties. Can't remember her name, but then like I read in this uh, I'm reading on this jazz bass message board. Don't ever go to that. These guys oh, she's not so good. Her technique is ter it's like it's twenty three. Oh, I didn't hear anything impressive about her playing. But then I watch uh, 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 The Last Waltz is on. Oh, man. That is the worst. First of all, they filmed that thing on, like, Thanksgiving. And they fed everyone in the audience. All I could think of was going there, eating a turkey dinner, and then watching these this uh, snorathon up on that stage. They better have provided... Bill Graham better have uh, supplied some cots for everybody with that i'd be uh, out cold gotta sit up there listening to uh those guys plodding through uh, another song oh brother and look everybody yeah, you're gonna make fun of levon helm levon helm seemed like a cool guy honestly seemed like a cool guy i i had always wanted to go to one of those uh, ramble shows he did i would have liked to have seen one of those up at his barn i thought that was a cool idea he had Make people come see him. It's awesome. Seemed like a good guy. But that is the most insufferable group ever. The band. The band. Give me a break. So serious. So po ponderous. There's no room for fun in music, guys. This is serious stuff up here. How many credits do I get for uh, seeing this band concert? It's like a college course. History of uh, Western music. Taught by uh, Professor Robertson. Gotta watch that. The band. I'd rather watch Da Band. That uh, P Puff Daddy show. That group. Chopper and the gang. I can't watch that that group, and then and then I start 
uh, start th- the band is so is so is so mythologized. So mythology. Uh, why? Because they because they uh, uh, were a pickup band behind uh, uh, Bob Dylan. On a different night, he would have picked someone else. Right, Mike? Different night, he would have picked a different backing band. Would have been backed up by uh, who? The Guess Who would have backed them up. Another Canadian group. Triumph. Bob Dylan walked in and rung, rung the, the different night. He, you'd see him up there getting backed up by Rush. Like young Rush. Playing knocking on heaven's door in a little world, like. But yeah, look. Music, th- no fun. No room for fun. Give me a break. Then I want, then I, I, I see how. Because it's like, th- these are the guys who, who drove fun out of rock music. They were literally the first guys. But this is serious business up here. If we laugh. We're laughing about an inside joke. It's not anything we're all in on. Jump in a lake. All those guys. Robbie Robertson. But then you got Credence over here. This dude's writing hits uh, like he's, uh, like he, there's no stopping him. You don't hear the you don't hear the praise for ha- for Fogarty. Where's the praise for Fogarty? Nowhere near the praise uh, for Robbie Ro- for the band. Everything those snooze is uh, conjured up. Thumbs down, man. Dressing up like uh, Civil War reenactors up on stage. You want to know what I don't like? The band. Anybody clear on that? Right, Mike? 